Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading, an energy check-in for my dearest fellow Cancers. Cancer, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for you regarding the person um, that you're energetically, romantically linked to or your current situation. So let's see what's up. Messages for my Cancers, please. Right, we've got the Six of Cups in reverse, okay? So you may be in separation currently with someone that you think is or you feel is your soulmate. Um, the Six of Cups in reverse is also telling me that somebody here is really stuck on the past. So it could be you or your person. Maybe you're stuck on somebody from the past. Maybe your person is stuck on an ex. Let's see. Your person is in the energy of the Seven of Pentacles. They're watching. They're waiting. They're strategizing. Um, they're learning, they want to learn from the past, not repeat any, any mistakes. Be careful, Cancer, that you're not projecting. If this person is taking a little bit longer than you're comfortable with, yes, pay attention to that, but I feel like your person just doesn't want to repeat any past mistakes is what I'm getting. You could be dealing with an earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're viewing you, Cancer, as the Knight of Pentacles. So they view you as somebody very steady, somebody very stable, somebody who is loyal, somebody who's hardworking. Um, yeah, and and again, you guys could be on a break. I feel like both of you could be mirroring each other. Both of you are hardworking. Maybe this is a connection where you know each other from work, okay, because of all this pentacles energy. What you don't see coming, this person's coming in to make you a love offer. They're coming to make you some sort of, they're going to open up emotionally, maybe ask you on a date. I think they're going to choose to move things along. Someone is. And what we see final outcome advice energy, the five of swords, some sort of conflict. But you know what I get, Cancer? Somebody here wants to beat out the competition or somebody does. I mean, this person, he's walking away with all the swords and he's kind of leaving competition behind. So maybe this is you guys. I, I feel like maybe this person realizes or they choose you uh, above any somebody else or you choose them over anybody else. Let's see. Overall energy, the ten of cups in reverse. Yeah. You're in separation from this person, Cancer. Now, if it's a deep soulmate connection, it could just be that you guys haven't met yet, okay? Or it's somebody from your past, and you guys are both watching, waiting, Maybe, and I feel like there's a lot of mirroring. There is some sort of offer coming in. Now, it's either this person or Cancer, maybe somebody else with that Five of Swords. That might make this person quite jealous and triggered, so just be aware of this. It's possible with the Ten of Cups here in reverse, you were married to this person or in a higher level of commitment with them. Or if this is a new person, you might have somebody that you were committed to before coming back in, Cancer. I kind of feel like you're going to have a choice to make here. So we see the Emperor. Some of you, you're dealing with an Aries. I like that energy. It's Divine Masculine and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys, you may have a choice between an Aries and an Earth sign. Um, but what I'm also seeing here is you have really, somebody here is setting really strong boundaries, okay, because of whatever's happened in the past, okay? And if this person is really focused on a past person or on an ex or they can't seem to get over a fight or an argument that you've had, Cancer, I feel like you guys are really bossing up and you're like, you know what? I, I need reciprocity. I need somebody who's going to pull their weight in this relationship. Some of you, it's possible that you, if you're not in a committed relationship, that this person was casually dating. Maybe you were. Um, there could have been some breadcrumbing here. And that may be triggering for some of my cancers, especially if that's something that's happened to you before. So I feel like you've put up really strong walls and barriers trying to figure out, okay, does this work for me? What's going on here? You know, I don't want to, I don't want to get involved with somebody who's going to hurt my feelings. So it's possible that somebody here has, has a choice or is dealing with two people. It might even be you though, Cancer, because I kind of see that with this Knight of Cups, it could be another energy coming towards you, like a past energy and a new energy. So this person, they, they're thinking about it. It's like they're on the verge of coming in to make you an offer, give you some sort of gift. They may be offering to take you out on a date, have coffee, have a drink, whatever it is. 
um, meet up somewhere to work on things or to talk about, you know, being in some sort of serious commitment. Yeah, this person, I think they're ready to let go of whatever this is that they were holding on to, a grudge, an ex, um, another option, whatever it is, they're ready. They want to let go and move forward here. They want to work things out with you or they want to get on the same page, okay? Um, Knight of Wands, they're seeing you as a little bit commitment shy. They're seeing you, Cancer, as having a lot of options. They may also be trying to figure out if you're seeing somebody else or if you have options, but they're still going to come rushing towards you. It's like they're, they're watching, they're waiting, they're trying to figure out like what's up with you, Cancer? Because there's, I think they're feeling a little bit jealous and triggered and they may have good reason because you may have a choice. The Magician in Reverse and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so there's going to be, I feel like with the Magician in Reverse, any misunderstanding between you guys is going to be cleared up. I feel like you might have somebody that you aren't expecting from your past coming in with some sort of communication wanting to reconcile. And you've also got this new person who's just trying to figure you out who wants to work on things with you, Cancer. So I really do feel that this Knight of Wands energy, this person sees that you have options, that you have choices. The Five of Swords is making the best choice for you. Five of Cups, Disappointment, and Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to have to disappoint someone, Cancer. And I think every fiber of your being is going to hate this because I think you you have feelings for both people is what I'm getting. You may be dealing with an Aries or, or an Earth sign or an Aries and an Earth sign. It could be a Virgo or Capricorn. But I get really strong fire, really strong Earth. Could be a Taurus, you know, Taurus or an Aries here. Wow. And it's like, you know what, Cancer, I think it's it breaks your heart to be in this position because there's somebody from your past who you've always wanted or you've sort of been waiting for, but there's this new person coming in and you're not you're going to have a very difficult time making a choice here. The Hermit Virgo energy, somebody who maybe ghosted you or walked away from you is coming back in and you've got this sort of new situation or connection that may be taking a while to get off the ground. Hmm, Cancer. Yeah, I can see. I feel like you're going to be heartbroken. Whom, whomever, not you're going to be heartbroken. You're going to disappoint someone. It's also going to be heartbreaking for you because it's kind of like this energy of why now? Like, uh, you know, I didn't have anybody and now all of a sudden I've got this choice between somebody from my past and somebody new and I, it's going to be a difficult decision for you. All right, Cancer. So, what I'm going to do, because I really do feel strongly about you having a choice here, two energies, you're going to have to let somebody go. Um, let's see. I'm going to pull energy regarding your past person who I feel may be coming back in unexpectedly, somebody that you may have been waiting from. This is somebody who was definitely running. They ghosted and wants their cake and to eat it too. So just be careful. This past person is going to see you moving forward, Cancer. They're not going to like it. They're going to want to hold on to you. I'm just going to get one more card about this. And we get solving an issue. They want to resolve the issues, problems between you. Is it too little, too late? I don't know, Cancer. It's going to be up to you. All right, let's see about this new person. All right, so we've got accused. So yeah, I definitely feel this. This Your new person, I don't think that they've accused you of cheating um, maybe that was an issue. Maybe that's some, a reason they held back or you held back, but I think they're worried about you having options. Okay. <laughs> Look, as I said, that options, your past person may have options, but cancer, I, I feel they know that you have options or they see you getting a lot of attention. And so they may be acting cold. Okay. Interesting. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I want to pull one more card. For clarity, please, on each of these people for my cancer, this past person. Can we please get additional clarity about this past person hiding something? They're hiding something. And this new person, even though they're acting cold, they're pulling back because they're worried you're going to reject them or you have options. They're changing. Your past person's going to surprise you when they come back in. This is a totally unconventional reading, you guys. Um, but let's see. And this new person both still in love but you guys I don't know it's up to you guys you you guys are going to have a tough decision to make this past person's going to surprise you there I think they're hiding deep feelings but they are a bit selfish and if they ghosted you you know who's to say they're not going to do that again um but what I'm seeing here with this new person they're acting cold because they're not sure where you are 
but they, I feel like this person's falling in love with you and retreat. So cancer, in order to make this decision, make sure that you are in alignment. Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, this is like totally different than the other energy check-in readings for my dear cancers. You guys always show up for me in such a big way, so I don't mind pulling some extra cards for you. Um, patience, everything will unfold in divine timing and spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Okay, that's your past person. This new person, old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So some of you guys, you're still healing from this past person ghosting you or walking away. And we've got a new love or recommitment is developing. You have a choice here between somebody, a new and a, and a past person. Twin flame. Yeah, you guys, I picked up on that earlier. You may be in a twin flame connection. Hmm. All right. Let's see what final messages come through for my cancers, please. Regarding your past, you get helpful people. Okay. They're being guided towards you. That could be for healing and for closure. Ask for help from others. I think everybody's trying to figure out what's up here, Cancer. And I think you also just need to tap into your higher self through prayer, through meditation. If you trust your friends and your family members to talk about this, trying to make this decision, but there's no need to worry. You will make the right decision here, Cancer. Okay, so a very excuse me, a very different reading. You may have a choice between a twin flame and a soulmate. Remember to choose what is best for you, Cancer. Who are you most comfortable with? Who is, you know, showing up for you? Because reciprocity, you do have a divine masculine here showing up for you. And this is somebody who's going to pull their weight, but it's up to you to decide which one. Is it somebody new or, you know, more recent? Or is it somebody from the past that may come in to surprise you? Okay, you guys sending you so much love and light. Take care.